we are looking at this angle theta, which can be expressed as angle AKD minus away angle AKC. Which means that to calculate tangent theta, we can also we express it as tangent of angle AKD minus angle AKC. Then by making use of trigonometric identity, we can rewrite this as tangent of angle AKD minus tangent of angle AKC. This is going to be divided by 1 plus tangent of angle AKD tangent of angle a, K, C. And since according to the question, A, B is going to be perpendicular to X, Y, which means that this is going to be a right angle here. So tangent of angle A, K, D is going to be opposite over adjacent. And that will be 4 plus A. This is going to be divided by X. Then minus away tangent A, K, C. So we have another right angle triangle opposite over adjacent, A over X. And this is going to be divided by 1 plus 4 plus a over x multiplied by a over x. Let's simplify this. So this is going to be equal to 4 plus a minus a divided by x. Divided by, in the denominator, we will have a x squared plus 4a plus a squared divided by x squared. So we can rewrite this as 4 over x multiplied by x squared over x squared plus 4a plus a squared, which will leave us with a 4x over x squared plus 4a plus a squared. And in part 2, we are supposed to maximize tangent theta and for the ease of presentation, I'm going to just simply let y be tangent theta. So to maximize tangent theta, let's first find dy dx. We'll make use of differentiation. So quotient rule to this, we will have x squared 4a plus a squared. This is the denominator multiplied by the differentiation of the numerator minus away the numerator and differentiating the denominator it is 2x let's not forget that a is a constant so 2x and this is going to be divided by x squared plus 4a plus a square square for the numerator we will have a 4x square minus 8x square that leaves us a minus 4x square and this times this it is plus 16a this times this plus 4a squared and this is going to be divided by x squared plus 4a plus a squared square and for maximum tangent theta it is going to be maximum y which I'm going to just simply let dy dx be equal to 0 because maximum happens when y is stationary this is minus 4x squared plus 16a plus 4a squared. This is going to be divided by x squared plus 4a plus a squared squared. This is equal to 0. Cross multiplying, minus 4x squared plus 16a plus 4a squared. This is equal to 0. And making x squared the subject x squared is going to be equal to 4a plus a squared. And since x is a positive number, it is the distance, so it is going to be positive square root of 4a plus a squared. So this is the value of x that potentially will cause y or tangent theta to be the maximum. In fact, we should be verifying whether this is going to give us a maximum tangent theta, but the question actually said that we do not need to verify this, so I'm going to just leave it as it is. But the question also mentioned that we want to find the corresponding value of theta, tangent theta. So when x is this, when x is square root of 4a plus a squared, let's find tangent theta. So tangent theta is going to be equal to 4x. So 4 
square root of 4a plus a squared divided by this is going to be square root of 4a plus a square square plus 4a plus a square so in fact for the denominator we are going to have 4a plus a square plus 4a plus a square so this is going to be square root of 4a plus a square the denominator will have two times of this 4a plus a square 4 divided by 2 it is equal to 2 and this they are the same expression so this and this they can be simplified to 2 over this and this to be cancelled so i will be left with a square root of 4a plus a square in the denominator and together with me this when a player gets further and further away from x y for example a player stands here that means the angle when a player gets further and further from x y the angle will actually become smaller and smaller and smaller but when a player gets nearer and nearer to x y for example here when a player stands here and or if the player gets nearer and nearer to x y the angle will actually also become smaller and smaller and smaller correct that is why the question brings up this optimal point it is when tangent theta is maximized and that is when the player happened to stand at that particular strategic spot where the angle is going to be the biggest possible with respect to how the ball is going to go in between CD. So this angle at the optimal point is going to be the biggest possible, which means that if the player were to stand here and kicking the ball towards CD, there will be the highest possible chance for the ball to be getting across CD. But at the same time, even when the angle theta is the biggest possible, it doesn't mean that the physical distance is possible for the player to overcome. That is why even when the player stands at the optimal point, it is possible for that player to choose not to kick the ball if it is perceived by the player that the distance is too big for the player to overcome. When theta is the optimal angle, that is also when x is equal to, according to what we have found previously, x is equal to 4a plus a squared. And we are supposed to find tangent of angle KDA. So tangent of angle KDA, KDA, so we are looking at this angle over here. It is opposite over adjacent. So tangent of KDA is going to be opposite is x. The adjacent is 4 plus a. And x, we know it is equal to square root of. 4a plus a squared divided by this 4 plus a. I'm going to factorize out a, which will give us a square root of a and a square root of 4 plus a divided by 4 plus a. So square root of 4 plus a divided by 4 plus a leaves us with a denominator of square root of 4 plus a. So we will be able to prove what the question wants us to show. This is going to be a over 4 plus a. And then the question says that uh, we are supposed to find the approximate value for tangent for and the angle KDA when a is much greater than 4. So when a is much greater than 4, let me write it down here. So when a is much greater than 4, That is when tangent of angle KDA is going to be approximately, since A is much greater than 4, so 4 is sort of like insignificant when compared to A, so it is going to be approximately A over A, which is equal to 1. So tangent of an angle is equal to 1, this angle here will be approximately 1 quarter pi. And the optimal angle tangent of the optimal angle theta is 2 over square root of 4a plus a squared. This was what we have calculated previously. And in this part 5, we are going to be focusing on this angle theta, this optimal angle, and asking ourselves when will it be the greatest and when will it be the least. For theta to be the greatest possible, if you were to look at the scenario, that is actually when this line a, b moves closer and closer to c. 
and it is going to be the greatest possible when a is exactly at c right and when a is exactly at c that is also when a this distance a is equal to zero so let's try to work out the angle theta when a is equal to zero and when that happens, theta is going to be the greatest so theta is the greatest when a is equal to zero and wait when a is equal to zero what is going to be tangent theta tangent theta is going to be two over square root of zero so it is going to be two over zero and this is undefined so tangent theta cannot be equal to any value so this is going to be undefined and when tangent of an angle is undefined what is the angle the angle will be pi over 2 so this is going to be the upper limit of the greatest possible optimal angle and let's find the least possible so theta is least and when will this happen this will happen when we are going a b is going nearer and nearer to x in fact when a coincides with x that means when a b is here the angle is going to be the least possible like geometrically the least possible right so when a is equal to x we are going to make use of this other piece of information that is given to us by the question which is this distance here is 50 and we know that x c is the same as d y and this distance here is 4 so we can actually find x c because when theta is the least a a is equal to the distance x c so a is 50 minus 4 divided by 2 a is equal to 23 which means that tangent of the optimal angle this is going to be 2 over square root of 4a so 4 times of 23 minus a square and this will be 23 square so theta here is going to be tangent inverse of this this is 2 over square root of 6 to 1 and this is equal to 0 0.080086 which means that the range of value for the optimal angle is going to be bigger or equal to 0 0.0801 and since theta cannot be pi over 2 or else tangent theta is going to be undefined so it's going to be strictly less than pi over 2